Hi Cancer and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of April 8th through April 14th, 2019. I'm going to start off by pulling a few cards to see your overall energies for the week and potential highlights that will be unfolding this week as well. Okay, so we have Not Yet, Divine Timing, and I actually saw that one as I was shuffling, so significant to me. There's details involved in this that you may not outrightly be aware of in this moment, Cancer, noticed, and manifestation, beautiful. All right, Cancer, so what I see going on here this week is there's something that you're wanting to happen, okay, and you've got to apply this to where it fits in your life. This is a general reading. You're really wanting this to happen. Um, as I pull the tarot dice, I feel like I'm going to get more um, info about what area specifically because there's details that you have not noticed, Cancer, that need to be, um, need to come into your awareness before the manifestation can happen. So it might be there's something that needs to be changed. Um, perception might need to shift here, but there's details that you must notice. You must become aware of about whatever this is for you that you're wanting to happen and it's just it's not the right time until this is addressed and then the manifestation comes in. So let's pull some tarot dice because I'm really curious about this. All right, so we have the Two of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. Yeah, look at that. Two of Swords coming out under details. There's something you're not seeing that needs to come into focus. And then we have the Magician coming out under notice. And we have the Devil under manifestation. Okay. Yes, Cancer, listen. There's uh, two energies trying to come together here to create this manifestation, all right? And um, energies, I'm speaking behind the scenes, nothing physical, all right? There's two energies behind the scenes that are trying to come together. However, there is something blocking their entanglement, their, you know, coming together, becoming one, however you want to look at it. There's something blocking it. There's some red tape. There's something that you need to become aware of, all right? And when you notice whatever this is, Cancer, it's magical, okay? It's like, aha, oh my God, I totally get it. I can't believe um, I didn't see that before. I'll give you a great example. Um, in one of my tarot decks uh, or oracle decks, there's word misspelled. And um, I've looked at that word a bazillion times, but with my dyslexic self, I don't trust me. But every other person that has looked at that deck and gone through it numerous times to make sure there's no errors, I'm like, you missed that too. And so listen, sometimes there are things that we just don't see um, because it looks very familiar to what you already know and you know the word that's misspelled nobody was noticing it okay it was actually a youtuber that noticed a youtube viewer nobody noticed it because it, it looks similar enough that their brain just scans it moves on to the next didn't even notice that it's misspelled and that's kind of what i see going on here there's some blockage in your energy, in your manifestation, and it's because you're you're missing something. You continually overlook it, and it's not that you are not intelligent or any of those things. It's just that it looks familiar. It seems familiar, so it's like you overlook it. You or you just scam it. I don't know. Go deeper. Um, in any area of your life this week, Cancer, where you just feel like, why isn't this working? Like, this should work. Why isn't this working? 
there's a reason. And this could be something um, to do with your job, it's some project you're working on, something you're trying to um, complete or figure out. It's like, why, 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 why is this not working? It's literally right before you. Um, it's just you, you're you not seeing it. It's You've really got to get into the details of things this week and really notice everything. And in that noticing, that's where the magician comes out. That's like, ha, I get it. And the manifestation comes in. Now we have the devil over here. Um, I'm feeling with this, uh, the manifestation is pretty intense, meaning uh, it's like in a good sense, okay? Um, just because of what I see here, once we figure out what this thing is that we keep missing and keep overlooking that's preventing us, it's like so much happiness and joy and like, ah, just a lot of excitement and intense manifestation of energy or actual a material manifestation of some kind. So let's pull more information. Cancer could be a Capricorn involved. Could, um, oh, well, I was about to say an Aquarius with the Magician. Don't ask me why I was about to do that, but maybe there is an Aquarius involved. Aquarius is typically associated with the star, so. Okay, yeah, nice. So we got the harvest going on here, Cancer manifestation right there something's gonna unfold once you see whatever this is next out uh, even better the veil um, this right here cancer is you're being divinely guided um, you typically uh, around Halloween time the veil is very thin okay between us and the non-physical and the spirits can come in and there's celebration and all these things well, with this coming out in your reading, I feel a couple of things. The veil is very thin. It, it's right before you. You, Again, you're just not seeing it. Also, you, there's an element of being divinely guided through this process. So pay attention to anything like that just keeps repeating or popping up. Even if it seems insignificant, unrelated, anything that is continually, repeatedly popping up in your reality cancer that spirit trying to get your attention um i'll give you an example i keep a, a blue shirt okay blue shirts are something that just started showing up in my reality just kind of all over the place and that's what i mean normally like five years ago i would have really not taken notice of that i might have been like well that's kind of interesting that i keep noticing that but at this point on my journey, I know there is great significance to it. Um, blue is the color of the throat chakra, communication, okay? This could also be some communication that needs to happen for you because of all this blue that I see here and thinking of this example to share with you, all right? And a shirt is something that you wear um, on your body, right? So for me, it's there is an element of my voice, my word, um, what I'm doing, needing to be much bigger, stronger, and powerful in that, in my confidence, okay? That's what the blue shirt is meaning to me. Now, somebody else get it, all of a sudden a blue shirt starts popping up in their world, could mean something completely different, okay? So, that's why I'm saying pay attention to all the subtleties, all the little signs and synchronicities that are repeating in your reality over this week because it's trying to help you with this energy right here. Yeah, look at this, imagination. Um, so you got Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius as a sign, and um, I don't feel like that's significant. Um, I typically would see that more as a timing so I'm not going to pull those energies in. Could be a Virgo, Scorpio, or Aquarius involved, okay? But that's not as significant as the imagination energy. Um, this is really, if you notice, it's a big eye right here. It's time to see things different. It's time to really go beyond the limits of your imagination 
and believe things that are big, believe things that you cannot see right now. Um, it's, this is, uh, wow, it's like there is so much magic and illumination in this place for you, Cancer. It's like the answers are there, the solution is there. You feel blocked, you can't see it, but you will. It's like you've just got to slow down and really focus your energy. Ask Spirit to help you, you know, um, let's see, <laughs> delays. Not yet. Delay is sign, snail. Okay, so this is the first significant sign coming out for me. Um, cancer, if you see some snails, that's spirit saying, listen, the delays, trust in them, please, because there is more to this that needs to be seen, that needs to be understood, that needs to be revealed. Once that happens, it's like, boom. Um, you know, just out the gate, and look at that last card in the lineup. Journey begins. Sign one zero one. Cancer snails and repeating one zero one. Those are the theme of your week. If you see snails, that spirit telling you not to stress, not to worry about what's not working or moving forward right now. There's good reason for it. It's gonna manifest in big ways, but. There's some things that must be addressed first, and once that happens, boom, here it is. So, um, seeing 101, that's letting you know you're just about there. A new journey is unfolding. The manifestation is coming in, but there's an element of divine timing which might um, deflate you, deter you, make you feel defeated, and Spirit's like, no, no, no. The magic is there. Trust. Just trust, and really notice the repeating Signs and synchronicity is repeating, and signs and synchronicities could be anything. It's just like I said with the blue shirt example, it just starts showing up everywhere you go, and that spirit trying to communicate something to you. Some of the signs you might know, some of them are unfamiliar, just as the blue shirt was unfamiliar for me, but that's just go with it. That spirit communicating with you, and the more that you are noticing it, that's all that matters noticing it, okay? Seeing the details, like spirits leading the way for you to this new journey, this wherever it is you're trying to get to go, all right? And 101, that spirit's confirmation of, yes, Cancer, I'm with you. Let's do this. I'm leading the way. So make sure you are really paying attention this week, Cancer. Um, I just feel like it will give you a breakthrough that you've been looking for. So I'm going to pull... Um, an advice card for you guys for the week. Okay, that would be the one. And we have perception, which, I mean, hello, that is um, it's very synchronistic to the message of this whole reading, right? So it says, there are things known and there are things unknown, and in between are the doors of perception. Okay, so Cancer, you're kind of in that in-between place where it's not known or unknown. You can only guess. You can only go based off of past experience, what you're feeling. But with this coming out as perception, Spirit's saying there must be a shift in that area of your life. You're not seeing something. And because you're not seeing it, it's blocking this um, manifestation, whatever it is for you, from taking off, from moving forward, from the magic coming in. But Cancer, I swear, once you see whatever this block is for you, right here, okay? This is the only card that's challenging um, with the swords pairing up with it. Once this is addressed, this is seen, this is figured out, whatever this means for you, boom, it's like everything just starts taking off. It's a matter of perception and, you know, this is really nicely paired with uh, imagination as well because this is, again, where we may be blocked in based on past experiences. It's all we know. But Spirit's saying, listen, even if you've never been somewhere, really open up your mind to the possibility 
of what can happen for you. Like you just have no idea how much that will shift energy and what you're going to start noticing, just details that you've been missing um, about different things going on, okay? And it just, it makes it better. I swear, Cancer, it makes it better. So, um, snails... Is spirit saying, listen, Cancer, there's delays. It's not the right time. Really, really trust. Trust in spirit. 101 means keep your eyes open for that new opportunity, that new beginning that's coming into your reality that's manifesting, okay? So those are your messages, Cancer. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.